Hey YouTube, it's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 11. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the new audio tag in HTML5. Now this works in a very similar way to the video tag, which I talked about in the previous video. Uh, so a lot of this stuff is the same, except now instead of playing a video, we're actually playing audio. Uh, so I've got uh, my index file over here. And I've also got a audio track, which is an MP3 file. Make sure that you're using an MP3 because, well, not um, there aren't really any other audio types that are supported by this tag. So uh, MP3 is the safest option. If you're using something else, it's probably not gonna work. Um, and uh, now that you've got your MP3 sorted, uh, let's take a look at how to add that to our browser. Uh, so right now I'm starting off with an empty body. My uh, website is blank at the moment and I'm gonna open up a new uh, one of these audio tags. So let's uh, type audio uh, and then I've got my ending audio tag. So that is how to, well, <laughs> add the tag. But um, just like I talked about in the previous video with the video tag, uh, this may not be supported by some people's browsers. Uh, hopefully by now it is supported by pretty much everyone's browser. But you know, if there is that like lazy person who's using a 10 year old computer and never bothered to update it and never bothered to switch over to a new browser and they're still using Internet Explorer for some reason, um, this audio tag will not work for them. So you just want to put in a little error message over here. Um, if, uh, if you can see this, update your browser. Now, hopefully, um, if you save this and come back over to the browser and hit refresh, you don't see a message. That's good, right? Because if you do see this text appearing, it's, you, you've got a really, really old out of date uh, browser uh, and you need to update your browser. Okay, uh, now that that message is uh, there, let's move on to adding a source tag. So let me go ahead and type source. And um, just like the previous video, this uh, allows us to set a source or to set which file we actually want to use um, in the, the browser. So as you can see, I've got my MP3 uh, in the same folder as my index file. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that name. Uh, if you wanted to folder your tracks away, you could do that. Just make sure you understand how file paths work. I do have a video explaining that already. Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the uh, file name into the source. And then under t or in the type attribute, I'm also going to specify that it is a type of audio slash MPEG. And that should mean, or that base, basically tells the browser that we are using an MP3. Um, there is only one other file type which is supported and that is an OGG. But again, the OGG is only supported by some browsers and not by others. So to be safe, um, the safest file type is actually an MP3. So just use an MP3. Like don't even bother trying to use a different file type. Okay, so, now that we have our source set, um, if I pop back over to the browser and refresh, I'm probably not gonna see anything because I need to add one more attribute in the top here and that is controls. Now controls doesn't have to be equal to anything so I can just remove um, the equal sign and the quotation marks. Let's save this now and come back over to the browser, hit refresh and now I have my audio uh, tag showing up. Uh, some people like to complain about it not showing up, but if you don't have this controls attribute here, it's not gonna work, right? Um, but let me go ahead and hit play. That was kind of loud. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that is an audio track that I downloaded from the uh, YouTube audio library, if you guys are interested. Um, and uh, yeah, it sounds very uh, arcade gamey like. Um, so yeah, uh, that is how to add an audio file to your website. There are actually a few other attributes that we can um, 
add to this uh, audio tag. One of them would be auto play. And what that does is automatically play uh, the file as soon as the web page loads. So if I refresh this now, the file is playing uh, as soon <laughs> as the browser loads. Um, there is also a loop attribute. And what that does is loop the song. So uh, if I go back over to the browser now, because I have autoplay and loop set, um, it will automatically play. And if we get to the end of the track, um, it should loop around and play again. Uh, just give it a few seconds. One, two, yeah, there we go, great. So uh, the looping works. Uh, there are also a bunch of other attributes uh, that we could use here like um, muted, but that almost seems pointless. Like why would you mute an audio track? Um, so muted, uh, and what this does is by default, mute the audio track until somebody hits uh, unmute. So let's refresh. Um, and right now, yeah, like it is muted. I can unmute it and then mute it again, but it's all it's it's still playing because of the autoplay and uh, well, just because of the autoplay uh, attribute. Um, so this is, is there actually for JavaScript purposes later on if you want to be able to mute and unmute the track, although right now, um, you know, it does seem kind of pointless to load the audio file muted. Um, and something annoying that you could do is take away that muted attribute, take away this controls attribute, have the audio on autoplay and loop, um, and refresh. And now the track is playing in the background. I can't stop it from playing because there's no controls. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you just wanted some background music on your site, you could do this. It's just probably going to be somewhat annoying because users wouldn't be able to, let me mute that, users wouldn't be able to uh, uh, mute the soundtrack and they'd probably just like leave your site, especially if you're sitting, like I work in an open plan office environment and uh, I sometimes open up websites that have an audio track playing that I can't stop. Uh, and I usually have to like just <laughs> leave the uh, the website because I mean you can't stop the music or I hit that uh, little uh, mute button in the top corner there but that wasn't always available so uh, just be careful you don't want to chase people away from your your website uh, when you use this and uh, that is all I have for you in this video so I'll see you guys next time. I just want to send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development. And they can teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field. And they'll do it within 12 weeks, which I think is a rather impressive timeline. So go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Hey, thanks for staying until the end of the video. That really means a lot to me. Now, while you're still here, there are a few things that you can do to help. First of all, if you haven't already, subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And if you wanna help me make more content more often, or if you feel that my content is just worth paying a little bit of money towards, you can check me out on Patreon. You can also check me out on social media. I will leave the links next to me. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.